So we just had the NX21 release and with a bunch of really cool features. Now I'm obviously biased clearly, but Eunice uh, here on Twitter actually pretty much nailed it. Like what he mentioned here is saying like, if you didn't even know anything else about an X, you would he would still use it just for the new terminal UI that we released and continuous tasks. And that actually inspired me for this video. So let me show you what I mean. So basically, this is a pretty common scenario. You have like here an application which has a front end and a server. Uh, now in this case, uh, this is a super simple one. Uh, it's a Vite app and I have like here uh, an express based server that just like has like a to do API, right? And so how do you develop in such an environment? Like, what do you do here? Now, first of all, I would probably have this as a monorepo. So I kind of don't like when it's like the server and front end is kind of like mixed in one product, but it's perfectly fine, right? So what usually you would do is just to make things a little bit more pleasant, you might use tools like concurrently, because clearly if you launch the front end, you also need to launch the backend application, the API, it's just the front end works. Right? So you either spin up two terminals, run them separately, or use something like concurrently to basically run the dev command, which here triggers just the V dev server, and then this dev server script, which here uses Nodemon uh, to boot up our backend application. So from a DX perspective, what does it look like when we develop in such an environment here? So while well, I'm going to basically run this dev all script, which uses concurrently, so I'm doing npm run dev all, and so concurrently is just streaming out the different logs from these two processes in one single stream. Now, it at least tries here to have these one and zero appended. So you can see here, there's the node server starting, then there's some Vite stuff, then there's again the node server, then there's like some Vite stuff, some node server again, right? So it's kind of interleaved. Now, these here are two processes. So it's still pretty simple to figure out where what where the log belongs to. But like imagine you have like a modification front end setup where you spin up like 20, remote servers or something, right? So this, this gets messy really quickly. So before we go ahead, let's quickly have a look at our application. We have such a beautiful to-do list application here where we can toggle tasks that just communicates them with our backend and you see a bunch of logs here being streamed out. Again, this is all interleaved. So how can an X help in such a situation? Well, forget about all the monorepo stuff that you might have heard about an X, all the tasks, scheduling, all that, those things. We just wanna basically optimize this experience here and the logging, or the log output, the log stream that we get is kind of all interleaved, right? So just those two different things. And we just launched a feature for that, which is called continuous task, which is exactly such long running task, like an end to end tests or like something like a, you spin up a database, obviously a backend server, the front end the development server, things like that. So let me show you how that works. Uh, let me just add an X to this workspace. So I'm running an X in it. That's basically it. It's gonna have a look at here. Now, obviously, since an X is meant for improving like the speed of a workspace, so it comes with like computation caching, all that type of thing. We are not really interested in this all here. Like we could say like build is cacheable, probably lint as well, but that's kind of it. But again, I'm not really interested in the caching aspect here. So let's just skim through the setup here. We also don't want any plugins for now. So what do I get? Uh, well, first of all, I get a package which is here, the NX package. It also adds a node in here because like this is a root level package JSON. So NX should be aware of this, like that it can run here my tasks that I have in here, which we'll see in a second. It also adds here this NX JSON because we mentioned we want to have this cacheable. Otherwise, this is not even needed at all. So how can we improve this setup now? Well, in NX21, we released a feature that's called continuous tasks. So what I can do here is I can go in here and define targets or basically add properties on existing targets. So here, for instance, I'm going to say, uh, if you run this dev target up here, which is basically this dev target uh, of our front end application, this one depends on the dev server target from our backend. So meaning whenever I run this one, this is a requirement basically. Now this is, in a monorepo setup, this is also called a task pipeline because you very often have these types of connections where you run the build of an application and it needs to pre-build all its dependent libraries, those types of things. But in this case, we just wanna define these for these like long running tasks, these serving tasks, just to improve the DX, that's kind of it. So there is a property that I can define here, which is depends on, where I'm going to say this depends on, and I'm getting some nice out of completion here, the dev server. Now, I don't want to have this for dev as well. 
too much. Uh, so basically, I'm saying when you run this, run this first. Now, another thing that we need to define is to say, or to tell an X, look, this is a continuous task. This is not just like a one-off build that you run, it terminates, that's it. No, this is something that keeps running. So an X treats it in a slightly different way. So for the dev task here, we have already the node, we just add continuous true. And we do the same here for the dev server. And so here we don't have any depends on for now. Uh, so basically I'm just going to copy this one over here. And so this is continuous as well. With that, we're basically done. So we defined here these continuous tasks. We defined here such a build pipeline or how you wanna call it. So we established this relationship, meaning we don't really need this command at all anymore. We don't need concurrently, just not need it anymore. So let's have a look what this looks like in terms of spinning this up. Now, I'm not going to use um, the npm run dev command here, but rather I'm going to pipe this through NX itself, which is basically the same. So I'm just like saying npx NX, or if you have NX installed globally, you can just like say NX uh, alone. So just like NX, whatever. Now I don't usually install it globally. So I'm saying npx NX, and then the command I want to run, which is basically our scripts here in the package JSON. So in this case, it is that dev command. And so NX dev. So what you will see now is basically that new terminal UI that I was talking a little bit earlier. It already pins these two tasks. And in this case, we actually just spin up two tasks. There could be more, like we could maybe pre-build some other tasks that would show up below here. And since these are the continuous tasks, they are being pinned up here. And so now you can actually see already how much more beautiful this is because you have the front end task in one part. So you can clearly see all the VT logs in here. You see the back end task being basically streamed out down here. So you can see already some logs here for fetching to-dos because in the background here, our application is running. So as I refresh here, this will be uh, popping up. So if I like do some stuff here, you will see these basically will show up here without disturbing our front end server. So meaning if I go to app TSX, for instance, let's make some, some cool change here. Let's say console, console log, perfect. You can see here the HMR update came in without interrupting the backend one. Now the terminal is really cool because like, um, just showing off some features here, you can toggle between the horizontal and vertical layout. I can hit space to just remove all of them, just open up one and flip between those with my arrow keys. Now, if I wanna pin these as I have done before, I just hit one because I wanna pin this to the first one and two for the second one. So now I can see the backend server is up here, the front end server is down here. These are actually also interactive. So if I tap through here, you can see down here, there's an I to make this interactive because the VT server, for instance, has a way where it can say H and then it will basically print out here some help of how you can interact with the server. So you could say restart the server, hit R and enter and it will restart the server. And then I just like hit Control C uh, to actually exit interactive mode again. So you can see really nice experience and basically we can remove that dev server all, we can remove the concurrently package at all because we, we don't need it anymore. Uh, and probably we could even get rid of all of these here because we also have a build all which runs here the build of the front end and the build of our server. And so for this one, instead of having this task in here, I could probably just leverage the nx run many command where I'm saying I want to run the targets build and build server and nx would then run these two in parallel for me. So I can really optimize this whole setup here, removing even this one here, and probably we could even go ahead and optimize even more. But what I wanted to show you really is just, we basically added an X here to a product which is not a monoib at all. All we did basically, we didn't even leverage all the caching and parallelization, all those type of things that NX comes with. We literally just use it as like a task scheduler on steroids. So NX just runs the task for us, comes with that nice UI, and also has these features such as continuous tasks where I can set up these dependencies between tasks and basically in that way uh, optimize my workflow. So yeah, hopefully this was cool. You liked it. Um, try it out. Obviously, as always, like the video. Make sure also to subscribe to the channel because we keep pushing out more of these. See you in the next one.